subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can move transfer or clone your windows 10 from your old hard disk drive to your new ssd so let's begin the video so the reason that why you want to transfer or copy your windows from your old hard disk drive to the new ssd is that uh, in most scenario what you're going to do is that you're going to have a hard disk drive on your pc and you have upgraded it with an ssd so now when you have upgraded to an ssd which means that you need to have your operating system in the ssd as well the reason being if you're going to have your operating system like windows 10 11 on the ssd then your pc is going to boot faster and all the operations will run faster if the windows is still on your old hard disk drive and not on the ssd then there is no purpose of installing the ssd so there are two ways either if you uh, just go and do a fresh install of windows on the new ssd but then it means that all of your programs and all the things will be removed as uh, or you have to install all of these things on the new ssd the other and the more efficient way is that you need to have some kind of software that will copy or move windows from your old hard disk drive to your new ssd with all the preferences and programs so in this video i'm going to be talking about one of the programs that is xiaomi back upper i will show you in the video how you can do it so uh, i'm going to be using my friend's pc because he had one of these old hard disk drives on this pc and he just upgraded to an ssd now he want to have his window moved from the old hard disk to the ssd and i'm going to be using his pc so it's a more practical approach so let's move towards his pc so here i am on my windows pc first of all if i go on to the windows explorer you can see i have three uh, partitions so basically the local disk c and l are the same disk so these are actually the hard disk drive which are partitioned to and the local disk m is my samsung's ssd so here on the left side you can see it says this pc if i right click on it and go to manage here on if i press on storage then go to disk management here it will show you all the disks available so here you can see all the drives so currently again i have two drives disk 0 and this one if i right click on disk 0 and go to properties you can see that this is the samsung one so basically this is my ssd and its space is around through 238.47 gb which is completely free so what i want to do that is my windows is on the hard disk drive and i want to clone or copy it to my ssd drive so for this we're going to need some kind of software uh, for that just open your browser and you need to go to this website aomitech.com the software that we're going to be using is aomi backup so it is a free software and paid but for the purpose that we need it you can just download it for free and if you want the more premium features like encryption etc you can buy it as well so we're going to go down and i will put this website link in the video description as well so here you you can see the standard edition which is free and you can get the professional edition as well so we're going to press on the free edition for now press on the download now button and the download will begin so you can see that the software is around 122 mb so not a big file we're just going to wait until the download is completed okay here the download has been completed and here is the setup just right click on it and run it as an administrator select the setup language english okay try iomi backup or pro or free so these are the things that come with the standard edition and here are the pro edition so if you want to get the pro edition to get these other beneficial features as well you can buy it but for now we're just going to press on skip and you need to accept to the license agreement from here if you press on path you can see where this software is going to be installed after that press on install now so it's going to install fairly quickly because it's a lightweight but powerful software so here is the software so if you want to clone or move your windows to your ssg for that we are going to go to the backup section so you can either press on new backup from here or you can press on the backup on the left side after that what we are interested is a system backup and you can see you can do all of these other backups as well 
so backup windows and create an image of system partition we are going to select this one so in this case it's going to select the c drive by default so it's going to select the system reserved files as well as the c drive file which is necessary after that we are going to save that where you want to save our backup so we're going to press on this folder icon and here if i uh, go to this pc so now here you need to understand one thing that here is a local disk c so which contains your original os i don't recommend that you backup your os to this one because once we are going to move it to other the, the other drive we need, are going to need to format this drive other than that do not save your backup on the ssg as well because in this we are going to have the new operating system which means that the ssd will be formatted for the first time so what i suggest that save the backup to the other partition of your hard disk drive or if you don't have enough space in your hard disk then connect an external hard disk or usb and save your data over there because this is going to be the safest place the ssg is going to be formatted as well as the local disk c once the os is completed so save it to some other partition or some other drive if possible in my case i'm going to save it on the local disk l which is a partition of my main hard drive not the ssg after that i'm going to press on open and i'm going to press on start backup so you can see the backup process has begun and it's going to take some time depending on how much data you have on your c drive or c partition so i'm just going to skip it until the backup process is completed okay the backup has been completed as you can see backup completed successfully it is recommended to create a army backup recovery environment so we're just going to close this window now you can see we have made the backup the next step is to get this backup to our ssd for this we need to go on to the left side here it says restore press on the restore button and here it says select task or select image file we are going to press on the select image file button and from here you need to browse wherever you just save the backup so i save my backup uh, in this pc on my disk l drive and here you can see it has made a folder system backup one and here you're going to have this aomi backup file which is going to be in a blue colored zip file select your backup and press on open here you can see restore this system backup so you're going to select both the system reserve and the c partition after that make sure that you press on this restore system to other location button because in this way you're going to move your windows 10 from your hard disk c drive to your new ssd drive after that we're going to press on the next button here you can see it's going to show you both the drives again uh, the disk 0 is my ssd drive which is 238 gb i'm going to select this one press on the next button after the operation the partition m will be overwritten or deleted so we suggest you keep uh, you to backup it firstly uh, okay so if you have any kind of data on your ssd then make sure that you backup it first because after this process all of that data will be lost in my case the ssd is brand new so it has zero data i'm going to press on okay again it's going to show you source which is the c file or the c drive and it has 32 uh, 3 gb usage and i'm going to uh, move it to my m drive which is my ssg uh, just press on ssg alignment as well and we're going to press on start restore so the process has been completed we're going to close this and the current operation has been completed we're going to press on finish so now if i open my windows explorer here you can see the drives and here is my ssd its letter has been changed to i as well but anyways you can see all the windows data has been copied to it so after that what you need to do is to close uh, your aomi software and any other software is available and now what we are going to do is that we are simply going to restart our pc so once your computer is restarting you need to open the bios of your pc in my case i have the dell uh, PC so the bias key is f12 in your case it's may be different so you can google it Okay from here you need to go to the bios setup 
the bias setup is going to be different but all you need to do is to open the boot sequence and make sure that your ssd is at the very top so here you can see i have my usb device then my western digital hard disk and then my ssd so what i'm going to do is that simply i'm going to make sure that my ssd is on the top of the list after that i'm going to press on apply and exit so here you can see the windows logo so it is booting from the ssd now and not from my old hard disk which had the actual windows so in the first time it might take a little bit time because it's going to do all the configurations and here you can see my pc is now logging in okay the pc has been started now if i go to the file explorer this pc you can see that the local disk c is now my ssd because my ssd has 238 gb of storage and my other drive which had 300 gb which was my old uh, local disk c on my hard disk is now not the actual c drive so in this case you can just make sure that you have your old hard disk selected which was your old c drive you can go to uh, format and you can just format this drive because now uh, it is a secondary hard drive and not your actual hard drive which is going to contain your operating system so i'm just going to quickly format it you can see format has been completed but still all of your pc is working perfectly all right meaning your windows and if i go to control panel it should have all the programs installed as well so here you can see we have our aomi backupper kamta y9 for the screen recording software that i'm using right now microsoft act opera gx and so on so you can see that we have successfully copied moved or cloned our windows 10 from our hard disk to our ssd so guys if you like this video like share subscribe if you have any questions write them in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe